hi everyone so in today's video i am going to be doing a pattern haul of some of the recent patterns that i picked up from the simplicity latest collection as well as a few patterns from Butterick. Now these aren't new Butterick patterns. They're, they are old Butterick patterns, but I decided to pick these up and I thought about flirting with the idea of making a few of these patterns for summer. So uh, yeah, stay tuned and I will share with you all the things that I just picked up from uh, the Simplicity Ladies Collection as well as a few Butterick patterns. Okay, so let's start with the uh, two Butterick patterns because I didn't really pick up anything from Butterick, just these two patterns. And um, it's the Butterick B6178, which is a fast and easy pattern. Now this pattern is a pattern for um, uh, culottes and it's a very easy pattern. It comes in sizes six to 14 and then 14 to 22. The fabric suggestions are linen, chalet, and denim, and also broadcloth. So these are um, wide leg kulaks. You have different variations. You could do a variation that have pleats and a variation without pleats. So I believe view D um, is a variation that just have your uh, darts in it. You have a waistband. Um, it's a flat waistband. And then you also will be using a uh, back zipper for views A, B, and C. And um, yeah, for all variations, you're using a zipper. So, and then you also have a side seam pockets there as well. So I really am interested in doing view D. I don't think I want to do the variation with the pleats, but I do think I would love view D that have the white leg and have the darts on it. So I thought that that would be really fun, simple to make for summer. I also picked up the Butterick B6028. Now this is a uh, pair of pants. Now this is also supposed to be easy. So it's a semi-fitted tapered pants that have a mock waistband, elasticated back and side front pockets and uh, side back seams. And you're going to be stitching the hem and it calls for a hook and eye closure. So you have your mock fly. So it's not a an actual fly that you're going to be inserting like um, a zipper or putting buttons on or anything like that. It is a, a faux fly. So you don't have to worry about that because the back is elasticated. Now, I don't know if I like the seams of this pattern. The hemline of these pants are really interesting. So it's kind of like it's twisted to the front a little bit. Uh, the back is twisted to the front and then you're going to be doing some top stitching. So I'm not sure if I actually am interested in doing that. I did not notice that before I actually picked up the pattern. So um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make that or not, but hey, that's what I got. I also picked up the Mimi G style 8655. Now this is a pattern that have a uh, cover up as well as a pair of pants. So you have two different um, pair of pants there. You have a straight crop pant and then you also have a wide leg pant. Now I had already had this pattern before, but I had the smaller size and I wanted to try the size 16 for my bottom. And I also made the cover up and I made two versions of the cover up. You'll see that here pretty soon. If you have not already seen that uh, pattern review before this video here, uh, but I absolutely love the pants and I want to go ahead and make another pair of pants. I made the pants before, but they are just slightly too small. I need a little bit more ease um, for my pants uh, just simply because uh, that size 14 that I made just wasn't cutting it for me. So I purchased this for the size 16. I could have easily sized the pattern up, but I also wanted to see if I needed to get not just the size 16, but also the size 18. So I just went ahead and got the pattern. So I went ahead and got that. Now from the Simplicity latest collection, I picked up the Simplicity S9608. So this is a pattern that comes in sizes four to 14 and then uh, 14 to 22. So you have two different variations here. You have actually it's three different variations. You have a wide leg pair of pants that have buttons going down the side seam and then you also have um, that same style but a cropped version of the pants and your waistline is going to be elasticated and then you also have view C which is the skirt an elasticated waistline with buttons going down the side seam again so I purchased this for the skirt I think it would be really simple and easy to make and also really cute 
You all know me, if I have an elasticated waistline, a lot of the times I will uh, create a flat front waistband for the front of the garment and then just have an elasticated back. I have to go into the pattern and see if that's something that I have to, that I can do. I don't know if they actually have a waistband for the skirt or if you're actually using the skirt as the waistband and flipping the, the top portion of the skirt um, over and then creating a channel that way. So I'll have to go ahead, go into the pattern and see exactly what um, they are calling for there before I make any decisions for that. I picked up the Simplicity S9611. Now, when I did my video, like the um, Simplicity Collection release video, um, I this was not on my radar at all, not even a little bit. Uh, but when I thought about uh, making shorts for the summer, I thought, hey, View D would actually be really cute for um, summer for a pair of shorts. I mean, you have slanted pockets, a waistband, you have a size seam zipper. Um, they, I believe they, they look like they might be mid thigh, maybe knee length um, for your shorts. And I think that that would, that would be, you know, very simple, easy to make for a pair of shorts. Um, I mean, it's not in terms of style, it's not like uh, the most stylish thing on the planet, but I think it would be really simple, easy to make. And so that's why I picked those up to just have a pair of simple shorts that I can actually make. Now, I also picked up the Simplicity S9604. Now, this is a pattern that um, comes in sizes 6 to, uh, I, I believe, 14, and then 16 to 24. I purchased the 16 to 24. I absolutely love this neckline. Now, I know a lot of people don't like this pattern, but I absolutely love this neckline. And I think uh, View D would be really perfect for me. I would probably lengthen that crop or either just... Um, make view D, which is the longer top. And then instead of using the long sleeves, do the, um, the, the long, the flutter raglan sleeve instead. So I think that this is a beautiful, beautiful top. And I am excited to make that one. There's also the Simplicity S9605. Again, a lot of people with the poll that I um, took on Instagram did not like this pattern, but I think that I, I would actually like View B, the V neckline with the little flutter sleeve there, I think would be really cute. Even maybe even View A, um, I would actually um, make View A to see what that looks like. Now this pattern comes in sizes six to 14 and then um, uh, 16 to 24. And then you have, um, let's see, the fabric suggestions are batiks, chambray, cotton lawn, soft cottons, dotted swift, double gauze, gingham, soft linen blends, poplin, seersucker, shirtings, silky type fabrics, and vol. So very, very inclusive in terms of uh, fabric choices. So I really like that pattern and I would probably make that one soon. I also picked up the Simplicity S9606. Now this pattern comes in sizes six to 14 and then 16 to 24. Again, this is another pattern that people just did not take to, but I actually like it. I don't know if it's because of the um, high empire bus cup thingy that, um, that people are not attracted to, or if it's the neckline, I don't know. But I think view D would be really cute. It's a rounded neckline. You have a little keyhole opening in the front there, um, which I think is cute. You have a, fl a flutter sleeve. Um, it's, it's just, in my opinion, a really cute little um, top there. You have four different variations of a top. Uh, you can make a, a, a puff sleeve that is a short, it's a shorter sleeve with an elasticate, elasticated um, hem there. You can make, there are two different variations where you can do a sleeveless version. And then, like I said, you could do the flutter sleeve. I absolutely would do the flutter sleeve because I think that would be more flattering for my figure. And I would probably do the rounded neckline. If I did the V-neck, I would definitely raise that up a little bit. But other than that, I think it would be perfect. So the last pattern that I purchased is the Simplicity 8060. Now this isn't um, part of the new collection. This is a Mimi G style pattern that came out several years ago. I had this pattern before. However, I had the smaller size, which is the 6 six to 14 and um, I needed the larger size because my bicep just grown over time. And so I picked up the size 16 to 
24 and uh, it is basically a jumper. So you have uh, three, two different variations of a jumper. So you can make um, the shorts or you can make the long pant jumper. I'm interested in making the shorts. So I really like this pattern and it's about time for me to make it. It calls for fabrics such as batik, chalet, chambray, crepe, uh, denim, lightweight denim, linen type fabrics, micro uh, suede, sateen, seersucker, silky type fabrics, stretch wovens, and twill. So you have a lot of different choices there that you can choose from. It calls for um, nine, three, eight, seven inch buttons and one zipper and a snap. So there's a lot going on with this pattern. So I expect um, after cutting this pattern, I would probably end up with something like 20 or 25 pattern pieces because that's usually um, how many pattern pieces you have for most Mimi G patterns, especially the older patterns anyway. So anyway, that is it for today's video. Those are all the patterns that I collected for this uh, particular haul. Uh, if you have any of these patterns, if you made any of these patterns, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, I hope you all have a happy and blessed sewing week. And until next time, my friends, stay creative. Bye.